Hello everyone. This is Tatiana Crane speaking. Long time no see, right? I missed you. How have you been? This is the first time I'm making a voiceover for my video and I'm feeling a little bit awkward about my voice, my accent and such. <laughs> You can definitely tell I'm nervous as hell because my voice is shaking. <laughs> These two videos won't be as detailed as you may want it to be, and I'm sorry for that. I have an excuse. I don't have a particular workspace since the end of last summer, because I mostly live at my partner's apartment and we haven't figured out a specific place for my workshop yet, so that uh, I mostly work on a kitchen. Well, enough talking, let's dive in. For this project I have chosen a Frankenstein doll at first, because uh, I was sure her face sculpt fits Jinx's character well. Well, <laughs> I was wrong, but I will talk about it later. I already cut her hair off and destroyed the fabric makeup with a pair of acetone and it's time to start sculpting. There will be a lot of sculpting. First, I fixed her joints with a bit of super glue and then covered it with epoxy clay so they would stay in place. Every piece of clay which I added is going to be sanded off camera, so don't be surprised if the result looks better than the process. Unfortunately, I skipped a lot of creating process and I hope you forgive me for that. Hopefully, I'll be making more detailed videos in future.
This white clay is a so-called cold porcelain. It is used in floor design to create delicate flower petals. It becomes translucent when cured and is very good for fabric imitation as well. I worked with this clay when I was making the mermaid and I absolutely love the result. I decided to use a sushi stick for the Zappa's body because why not? <laughs> Thank you. 
By the way, this is the first time I'm making such small yet detailed things since my childhood, and I enjoyed it and had a lot of fun as much as I've had back then. As you can see, I used a lot of different materials to create Popo, the minigun, such as uh, sushi sticks, Coca-Cola caps, warbler, epoxy and soft clay, toothpicks and thick paper. Unfortunately, the minigun assembly process also remained off camera, as well as the making of Fishbones her rocket launcher, although I was sure I recorded it. Oops! Now I'm preparing the surface for the painting by covering it with a decoupage glue, so the paints will stick to it better. all for today. Hope you enjoyed the video and see you in my next one. Goodbye!